All right, so in this video, I am going to show you one of my five drop shipping stores. So I came up with this concept. If I want to make 100K every single month, I just need five drop shipping stores that are making me 20,000 Rand per month. Easy, right? Not so easy, but I got it done, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one that I started about a month ago and it's basically has to do with really, really dope sneakers like these. Nothing really fancy, no branded names, no, um, well, it is a Yeezy type of look like, a, but people actually love these type of sneakers and they've been selling like hotcakes on this one website that I've done. Remember with drop shipping, you don't want to be competing with too many people that are already doing it and you don't want to be with part of the take a lot and you know, you need to find something that is called a winning product. So these sneakers are definitely a winning product. People love them. They don't even mind spending so much on these sneakers because firstly, they're not everywhere and it's not easily accessible. So. Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how the website is. It took me literally 20 minutes to build the website. Then it took me another 20 minutes to set up the ads revenue, ads revenue, the ads campaign. Then another 20 minutes just to set everything up and make sure that it runs by itself. What is nice about drop shipping, I could be having a cocktail with my friends or I could be reading a book and it will still make its own money without me touching it. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you want to find the final blue, blueprint, I think I'll have it up by Thursday. It should be up by Thursday. www.pushaempire.co.za You can get it over there. Yeah. So with that being said, let's get this started. Okay, so firstly, let's start with uh, where my online store is. There's a site that is cheaper than Shopify. It is actually called uh, Edward. Uh, I think I'm seeing it correctly. It has an app, so I've got the app on my phone. I can just check how I'm doing. So let's just go into it. So yeah, it's it's like um, 250 to have it. So uh, let me take that out. This is the online store. We'll get into it right now. I'll show it to you. I just want to show you my reports uh so i made i'm just a shy away like a, a thousand man shy away from making uh 20k um so that's uh, uh 23 that's 23 orders here on the site itself and then of course i've got other uh, orders that i got on whatsapp because the site um has a whatsapp you know, people don't trust online stores. Most of my sales, I got it from WhatsApp and people um, asking questions and things. I remember not everyone likes it. So let's get into it. So this is my revenue. Um, I started this on the 17th of October. Today, that's the, my store, 17th of October. I started on 17th of October till the 7th of November, which is today. So let's actually go into how much I've made on what days. So you see on the um, 11th was my first uh, order, which was 1.4. And then I made 6,000 from the 18th until the 24th, which it was people got paid on the 15th and so. So I started making 6,000 Rand placed on this. This was big on the 25th. It jumped because people started having their money. I made 10K over there. And then, yeah, just like that. So only with 23 orders, only with 23 orders, I'm, I'm shy away, like, from um, hitting the 20K mark. But I like I said, I, I had other orders on WhatsApp. So for me, revenue-wise, remember, you need to minus how much, the, how much the product actually costs to make that 20K. Um, so I don't want to, like, put your hopes high and, like, this is all the money that I've made. This would be a lie. Um, you have to minus the product cost, but I always make a um, hundred, if not more, um, markup on my on my sneakers. So if my sneakers are three hundred bucks, I'll make it six hundred or I'll make it eight hundred rand, um, just to get that you know um, commission that I'm looking for. So one percent 
uh, conversion rate is not the best but like I said I have a strategy of having five different stores I have five different stores that are working right now I'm just trying to show you this one and what is funny is that people started checking out you see trust factors 80 80 people started checking out so I could have made 89k worth in my cards but they checked out and then they stopped something stopped them probably I don't know what stopped them this so I'm doing my research on that remember this this online store is only a month old and um, added, added to cart, I could have made this much. So I can also go back and do a whole campaign and give a discount over here and viewed products uh, is over there. So yeah, that is the revenue side of things um, with the reports. I love this site because it's actually on my phone. That's why I'm doing it on my phone. I want to show you how simple it is to actually, you don't have to go on your laptop can just build it once on your laptop and you can just have five different stores uh, that you check in and out of and check how you're doing so this is what it's called I haven't even changed this sounds crazy I haven't even changed the domain name color me sneakers company site uh, I haven't changed that that comes with the equid equid gives you this 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 um, domain name so you can call it whatever so let's go into the site let me explain further all right, so everything is here. Your payments, who has paid, who hasn't, whatever. You can sell on Facebook. You can sell on Instagram. But we're going to go to the site. So when I press there, it goes directly into the site, right? So um, this is my site. This is one of the things. And the things that I used to teach, and I hope some of the students got it, is that people like free delivery on every item. People like free delivery and... As you go into the site itself, you get this pop-up. When you get this pop-up, you go straight into my WhatsApp. So you can ask questions there, or you can just go like that and go into WhatsApp. It's going to take you straight into my WhatsApp. Um, you see that those are actually customers, uh, except for my mother and whatever. <laughs> but this is my business. You go in to look at the site and it just come back to me. But I'm not going to dwell too much on that. Let's go back to the site itself. Um, so this is what I'm selling guys basically I have a supplier for these sneakers obviously I, I'm not gonna just like I, I've got like 26,000 people on my thing uh, if I had to just give you guys my supplier then it would be like 26,000 people that are selling these sneakers and yeah it's, it's I can't give you my supplier I don't think anyone will ever give you a supplier but these are the type of sneakers that I'm selling and the most favorite one which is sold out I sold this out with a thousand rand um this was very very popular uh it's not uh, by the way people think these are um what's this uh Ale alexander uh mcqueen it's not uh but people actually you know there is i did sell alexander which is a video i'll show you after this uh but i don't sell it anymore because i don't have i like selling either um sneakers that don't have names i, I never want to sell fake uh, or I sell the legit things, <clears throat> the legit sneakers. So these ones are just like no names. Some of, most of them come from Turkey. Uh, my supplier is not from Turkey, but they are around around somewhere in South Africa. But they get their supply from Turkey. This was very popular. Let me just go in, like so you can see if you buy, what happens. So it's sold out. They won't give you. Uh, but basically, you can see the sneaker from top to bottom. Of what you'll be getting and all the sizes will be dropped in there let me show you with um, a sneaker that is actually available most of them are sold out all right uh, let's go into this one so you have a size 6 size 7 size 8 size 10 and it's in high demand so there's only one product left meaning that um, maybe you go into your size and it's not available okay that's available that is available that's available. It's probably available with one sizes. Let me just try to check out. No, it's good. So yeah, <clears throat> this is the site. Uh, what we call when we talk about unique products. Of course, we've got the Q and A. People want to ask, where's your store? You already explained uh, that we are online shop. We don't do. Uh, we're not a brick and wall. And everything that people would probably ask you is here. And then customers that you have. Um, uh, spoken to they have you know 
giving you reviews that you can put on your site. So yeah, this is the site. This is a website. You can go check it out yourself. I'm not going to dwell too much on it. Uh, but one thing you can notice is three things. I answer your question before you ask. It's free delivery anywhere in South Africa. People like to ask that. Cash on delivery is only available in Joburg, right? And if you have more questions, boom, there. Or you can go straight into my WhatsApp uh, line that I have that's connected um, to this. Everything basically is in my ebook if you don't know how to set this up. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be doing a lot of content of setting up these stores. And Edward, Ed, Ed, Edward is actually much more cheaper than Shopify. I have three other stores on Shopify for different reasons. But yeah, this this is basically one of the stores that uh, I started on the on the 11th, uh, yeah, between the time. And it's already made me uh, made me close to not close. I think I, I, I've reached over twenty thousand, but because of the WhatsApp um, orders that I've had and taken out, uh, this was hot. Is it still available? I'm shocked. This is still available. This is okay. There's no size five. I remember size five. Nine. There's only size seven, eight, and nine and ten. The others are not available. So people like unique stuff like this. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna go to take a lot. It's not gonna take a lot. If you go and Google these these sneakers, uh, you'll hardly find it. If you do find it, I'll find it with a lesser price, um, maybe, or you will find it with um, what's this? You're gonna find it with a very very higher price than than mine, 1.2. I know the sneaker from four different sites. It's about 2.5. So yeah, you just have to get the right supplier. So now let's go to my ads revenue. Stop saying your revenue. Ah, to my ads campaign. So these are my ads campaign. Remember, this is actually on my phone. I'm doing this and recording it on my phone to show you that I do legit. I set up everything on my laptop on like one day and then everything else. I use it because I'm always on the road and I'm always busy. I don't have time to going back and forth to my laptop to fulfill orders. So I fulfill all my orders from my uh, from my um, app, you know, uh, from this app, from my Edwin app, and then I come here and I check my ads. This this is my Facebook ads revenue. I'm gonna explain something to you. Let's get into it before they talk about payments. I just wanna talk about all my accounts. So I've got a pusher. That one is active, uh, and then I've got my USA uh, store. Um, it's I'm not gonna open that one up. It's 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 quite something, and then I haven't settled this one. I have though. This one should be on zero. This one should be on zero. Yeah, should be on zero. Let's check the billing for it. Yeah, it's on zero. So I don't know why it says I haven't settled my account, but I have settled that account. And then the other ones I just don't settle them. <clears throat> I just put it on very very low. Like this one, I'm going to show you. This is for the shoe one. So this is my ads campaign. Uh, I'm going to show you how much uh, how much I've spent on it. So this is the colorful sneakers that I had. So I'm going to show you the ad itself. And I'm going to show you how much I've spent on marketing the ad. So I've spent 1,476 spent. Right. So minus it from my profit. Um, let's just say it's twenty thousand my profit, and then you minus this one point. That's the only cost that you have, and paying for your online store, and probably paying for your domain if you want a domain. But on Edwin, it's kind of like free. It just says company site, and it's actually yeah. That's so it shows you how the campaign was doing. Uh, it also what is nice it shows you who is more mostly likely to buy. How many men clicked how many women click you can check the age group of the people that are clicking so 25 to 35 35 to so if i go back i will only do 25 to 35 i won't do 35 to 45 because mainly they don't like it and then placements it will just tell you mobile apps feed people are looking at this mostly on mobile apps so i won't place any of my um ads on mobile or uh instagram stories i didn't set this up and then let's see the location right location mostly people that are buying are from Gauteng. Uh, well are looking Gauteng, Limpopo, Mpumalanga. Uh, let's see what's not so much 
Northern Cape is not so much. So, but I would put all my ads in the first three. So the first three will be Gauteng, uh, Limpopo, Mpumalanga, and KZN. And um, this is how much people it's reached. Uh, 28,000, which is not great. But look at the comments that are coming in, right? 1.2 uh, people liked it. The comments want this is great. And how many shares? 34, um, 34 shares from just spending that. 30, 34. Yeah, 34 shares, 145 comments, 1.2 people liked it. So this is a winning campaign. I can just run this campaign. Um, so I've set up my, my payment method. Let's just go back. I'll show you the campaign now. Just want to show you my payment method. I only set it up to 100 Rand a day. Uh, if it reaches over 100 Rand, I make the payment stop. So it will decline on my side when they try to take out more. Because Facebook, you must be very careful. You need to have, know how to set up your budget. You need to know how it must run. So I started running this on the 16th um, of uh, 2020. Am I correct? I am. And this is the type of people that I wanted it to, to, to the placements. So placements was uh, feeds. Uh, marketplace stories and uh, video stories Instagram stories and messenger and 25 to 35 we now we know we only gonna set it off up to 25 to 35 because 45 five year old people are not interested in that and then 100 rand per day that's my set avenue let's go back to the campaign so you can see how it, it looks very attractive if someone I'm just gonna show you the preview of it Let's open that up. So this is how it looks on Facebook feeds. Uh, sponsored. It looks like that. And then here is on Instagram posts. That's how it looks, right? So if, if someone clicks on this, this is going to take them straight to the website. Uh, I'm trying to do it. Obviously, I'm on the ad side, so it won't do it. But yeah, if, if someone had to click on this, it would take them straight to the website and it will be explained. Um, and if they are not finding reasons to buy they will just whatsapp me like they did over here so yeah this is basically the campaign for facebook if you don't have this you're not going to have the reason why you're not making sales probably on your not probably i'm 100 percent sure you're not making sales on your drop shipping stores is because you don't have um traffic being sent to your website for people to either buy or ask you questions that's what you're looking for you're looking for someone to just ask you how much it is you if you go like put in people's faces they don't like it uh, inboxing people and trying to get them buying something it's better when they find it themselves i find for these sneakers work perfectly on facebook i wouldn't put it on other platforms i wouldn't market it on other platforms um this this for me works 100 percent yeah oh yeah if you want the app you can just go to your google uh play store and go facebook ads where's the play store or face book business manager there we go uh, obviously i have it already but there it is and you can just uh, i'm just gonna upgrade it quickly and it will just um show you your ads and everything fantastic app fantastic No, now you want me you want me to do a lot of things i just want to do that done right it's nice to review other people's stuff when they are great all right so This is the shoes and um, they are like top quality for the amount that I'm bringing it. Like I said, <clears throat> these other places where people are selling it for way more. But for me, um, I don't become too greedy. I could easily make this shoe 2.5, but I just keep it in the thousand margin. I understand the economy right now. So 
when I sell this, I get them probably for maybe 800 or 700 rand, and I just put a 300 rand markup. This one, this one is is exclusive. This one I found um, this supplier, and I this one <clears throat> I'm probably gonna die with the supplier because can you see what is this? Yes, it's the McQueen, right? So this one is um, that shoe that every person wants to have right now uh, it is legit it's the original thing uh, let me just take it out so you can see proper this one I sell close to about 1.4 um, it ranges to the 6,000 I think yeah 6,000 in retail um, but like I said still legit made by the same factory uh, the supplier who sends it to me um, sends it with basically discounts and making sure but I only sell I only sold about four of these and then when I went to get more they were like sold out so I'm just waiting for new stock so when with this one I make 100% profit with drop shipping because it's a beautiful shoe I mean look at it who would want to have this shoe so in drop shipping this is what we call a winning product a winning product is a product that people can't get anywhere uh, if you go to take a lot or all these shops like Zando or whatever, they don't have these shoes. That's why your online shop will win when you have something that is as unique as this and looks as good and is quality based, you know. Um, so make sure that if you're going to sell something, it has that look. I hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. It helps. It really does.